Hey there, Leos. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm going to pull you a few cards when it comes to December 2020. This reading could have to do with love, career, finances, lack thereof, any messages that you all may have. So feel free to pull up a C cross watcher. This reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific. So let's just get going here for our Leos for December 2020. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar, Leos, uh, fire sign. However, you know, I'm not astrologist, but if you take a look at the astrological breakdown of your chart, perhaps you're not a Leo stumbled across this reading. This message could very well be for you as well. Or maybe you've got Leo somewhere in the breakdown of your chart. All right. Ruling a uh, planet or star, if you will, is the sun here. So we're going to be asking our angels and our spirit guides to please come through if there's any particular messages for our Leos out there. What is going on here? All right. So very first card here we have. Uh, this says miracles and blessings. Everyone. Oh, everything. I'm sorry. Has its gift. Everything has its gift. And it's like, Carolyn, don't even start this reading off by saying that we're going to have to deal with something else because there's already a lot of stuff going on out there. All right. Um, you know, everything does have its gift, whether it's positive or a situation or possibly going through a negative situation. I mean, uh, we're not going to concentrate too much on the past here. This is more about the future. Uh, but if you look, but yeah, if you look into the past, it's just like, all right, miracles and blessings, uh, because so-and-so lied to me, cheated on me, this and that, uh, you know, it didn't work out. I lost everything, had to rebuild everything, or perhaps, you know, it, it's just like this. You dodged a bullet, <laughs> pretty much, all right? Uh, and you don't have to be a psychic or weird to know everyone has been hurt in the past. That's just facts, all right? Um, perhaps, you know, somebody that you really wanted to uh, go out with or date, whatever, or possibly a particular career path or potentially maybe wanting to buy a place or something, all right? Uh, perhaps, you know, even driving down the road that one day. And, you know, you're supposed to go over somebody's house or whatever or do something and you weren't able to do it very, very, very upset. Good thing you didn't because there was a car accident. You know, uh, good thing you didn't get into that relationship with that person because, uh, again, dodging that bullet, if you will. Uh, and it hurts. It really does hurt. And, uh, you know, universe source, whatever it is that you believe in or not, is not out there to get you. And remember that you always have that within yourself. That's the biggest message here. All right. Uh, however, you know, it's like, you know what? <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't get married to that person or get into a relationship with them or, or uh, you know, have a child with them or, you know, uh, because they would have just done that particular type of thing. And uh, again, you're all in different areas, very generalized. And I'm happy I didn't do that because look at the person that they're with now, probably miserable, right, that they're doing that too. And look at, uh, for some of you, you may have found someone better. You know, you may have had that better business opportunity, all right? Uh, you may have, you know, got denied for a loan for a house or something like that. Thankfully, you didn't get it because it would have been a fixer-upper or that car or whatever it is, you know? Uh, so this is great. This is wonderful. Miracles and blessings do come with that. So please do keep that in mind, all right? Everything does have its gift too here. And if you look at the imagery on this card, it's almost like you can see these leaves here. So representation, fall season, no real shocker here. Uh, however, this is pretty much really resonating as far as, again, any area of your life, especially when it comes to love, all right? Uh, I'm envisioning somebody, if you ever see those shows, those uh, game shows or even, uh, you know, reality shows, or whatever the, the challenges that they have to do they put them in that uh, tank there with all the money that's flown up and they've got to catch as much as they can it almost looks like that looks easier to do and then when you actually go to do that it's a lot harder than you think <laughs> you know some people are like oh no it isn't Carolyn it's not as hard you know I need that money you know so I will put you know uh, my whole self in that you know tank and lean up against it and, you know, just start stuffing money down. So this is great. If you've been worried about financial 
uh, struggles, anything like that, I feel like for a lot of you, you're going to be getting that loan approved. Uh, a lot of you are going to be getting that loan approved possibly uh, April, April, I think, of uh, 2021. That's a whole nother reading for another day. Uh, also, too, and it's just like you want to, when we're talking about leaves here, especially in the fall, you know, uh, that is Mother Earth. All right, leaves falling off the tree. All right, to bring nutrition down. Uh, what's old is out. What's new is coming in. Something very significant is going to be happening for a lot of you in the springtime. I feel like for a lot of you in the springtime, an old flame is going to try to come back for somebody that you may be potentially meeting next or actually not next month. December. All right. Uh, so also too, and it, it's just like this leaves too when, uh, they dry out, you know, uh, it's tough because you want to pick one up, but they're very delicate. So they're very fragile, fall apart very quickly. All right. Uh, and it's just like this. She is reaching out for this stuff here, these leaves, whatever it may be. And it's just like it's right there, right there. Why didn't the answer seem more simple? Why couldn't someone just tell me right up front? I guess people were trying to tell you uh, also to don't be afraid to uh, go after your dreams, go after what it is that you want. And uh, whether somebody says you can or you, you can't do this, you can't do that. Who do you think you are? And it's just like, you're a Leo, honey. Are you really going to put up with that from anyone, please? <laughs> so I'm really loving this energy here. Don't be afraid uh, to do that. Also, too, uh, it's like she's afraid when she grabs one of these leaves or possibly even I've seen imagery of snowflakes like that. You know, you want to grab it and get what you want. However, you're afraid maybe self-sabotage may come in or maybe somebody else may try to sabotage it because they're completely jealous of you. I mean, let's just get real here. Um, and you don't want it to fall apart because it hurts. And nobody wants to create or build something in any area of life just to have some hater or some jealous person come on through and be like, oh, well, if they're not going to do what I say or if, you know, they're not going to date me, I'm going to make it harder for them to date anyone else. And and they almost make it like their mission. Jeez. I mean, uh, OK, so also too the leaves here, it's just like, are you really wanting to? Grab something here that no longer serves you, too. All right. Again, this reading is very different for everybody out there, you know. Uh, and all right, let's let's pull a few more cards here. Miracles and blessings, though. I'm really liking this energy here for my Leos for December 2020. Also, too, uh, we're going to be asking our angels and our spirit guides to please come through for any particular signs uh, for our Leos out there. Again, you are a fire sign. All right, something to do. I uh, just came up with other fire signs other than yourself. Uh, Leo, Leo, Leo Sagittarius, possibly Leo Aries here. All right. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we have this right here. All right. Uh, it says two of wands here. This is pretty much, uh, okay, again, wands representing uh, fire signs, you know, other than yourself. This is also to having to make that decision, but afraid that you are going to make possibly the wrong decision and not sure which road to go down. All right. Uh, sometimes they say when we don't make a decision, that's the best decision to make. However, uh, a lot of you have been, you know, contemplating back and forth. What should I do? Should I ask that person out? Should I ask that person uh, to collab? Should I ask for this? Should I ask for that? Or should I not do anything? Kind of driving yourself crazy, right? Is this person stepping out on me? Why are they acting like this? Because Leos, I'm going to tell you this, you know, Leos are some of the kindest uh, people out there. They really are. You know, they like to do things. And I've said this before, they're very uh, charitable. And it doesn't necessarily mean uh, donating large amounts of money. I mean, they could. Uh, however, it's just like whatever they have, you know, uh, clothes, you know, food, their time, their their energy. You know, if somebody needs a door open or, you know, uh, somebody's I'm, – I'm envisioning somebody uh, that can't get a door open. They're in a wheelchair and you're the first one to be like, oh, hold on, you know, let me, let me get that for you and help you. And then you've got some hater in the background being like, oh, see, there they go again acting like a saint when really we know how they are, right? 
it's just like, wow, okay, so Leo's, you know, uh, that fiery energy, it's just like, Carolyn, the sun, rolling star, all right, we want to get outside, we want to get out into that sun, you know, and it is difficult too, especially if you if you live in the uh, areas with all the seasons there, possibly some of you live out in the UK and uh, <laughs> I'm looking out my windows right now and it's just like, all right, yep. Uh, almost like UK or Seattle type weather, rain, rain, rain. All right. Rain, 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 go away. Let the sun come out. Uh, also too, I'm loving this though, because no matter what path you choose, you it, it's, it's, destined okay and you could always change that all right you can always rewrite whatever it is that you want and speaking of you know possibly going on a vacay and I know we're in interesting times you may not necessarily have the finances or maybe it's just literally impossible for you to travel because of whatever all right however look at this we have the birds here they're like we're taking off we're flying down south we're not dealing with this <laughs> okay uh, also too Oh, look at that. We have the uh, stags here in the background. All right. Somebody here is working with some uh, major Celtic energy, something about Ireland as well. I apologize about the uh, noise out there. Uh, definitely traveling or at least if you can't physically travel somewhere, it's just like, you know what? I can't wait to meditate or I can't wait to get five minutes to myself where I can listen to some music or just kind of escape in my mind because it, it gets crazy. So you're finding new indigenous ways. Also looking outside the box in order to figure out uh, this, this question at hand that you might be having or problem here or just checking on in, you know. Uh, also, too, when it comes to working with that fiery energy, Archangel Michael uh, as well, you know, that's transmuting. And also, too, if we look at the image here, what do we have? We have the uh, uncompleted eight here. All right. So that would be sign of Tor. So some of you could be working with Taurian energies as well. Other Earth energies, maybe uh, possibly Capricorn, maybe even Virgo, but big time Taurus energy uh, right here coming up for a lot of you too. Uh, also as well. Something to do with... Uh, I'm looking at these. It almost looks like poison ivy. Like, I don't want to walk down that way like because I don't want to get poison ivy here. All right. Uh, also, too, this is, you know, the infinity symbol uh, not quite yet completed. All right. So also, too, I pulled a judgment card. So Leo's uh, possibly somebody misjudged you. Maybe you have been too harsh on yourself. Like, you know, you're a good person, you know, and not saying that you're needy. I'm not saying that at all. However, uh, you want you want love. It's nice to have love. Not saying that you need it. Absolutely not. You you are successful with or without it, no matter what area of your life you are in. Okay? Uh, and it, it's just like, why am I so... Maybe it's you judging yourself because of people in the past and their stipulations or people right now, maybe like some um, nosy neighbors or like something like that. And they always have something to say. <laughs> Do you see what she or he was wearing today? You know, or somebody always putting their two cents in. Could be family, friends, you know, anything like that. Uh, possibly somebody, uh, again, misjudging you. Maybe you misjudge a situation. Possibly, too, this could have to do with court cases as well. Uh, also, too, uh, this is really interesting here. Something to do with ballet and dancing. I'm not sure if any of you out there are, um, you know, into the arts when it comes to ballet or dancing, you know, um, even like hip hop, anything like that. I'm seeing, uh, you know, mirrors all over the place and you're just dancing, you know, working on your body. Not like you necessarily have to because you're beautiful in all shapes and sizes here. People can't really seem to handle that. So it's just like, who do you think you are? you know, uh, dancing to, or, or listening to that type of music, like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there is a beautiful, uh, poem or quote, something out there. I used to love to dance. Then over time I stopped and I forgot why I stopped dancing. 
So this is uh, possibly maybe finding your hobby, finding yourself again. Who cares what anyone says? You, you know, maybe you want to get out there and start singing or, you know, working on that type of career or dancing, but you're maybe being too harsh on yourself. Like, you know, I'd like to lose some weight or I'd like to gain some weight in certain areas or, you know, I like need to need to fix up these wrinkles here. Like, hey, uh, doctor, doctor, give me the news. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, let's reel it back on in. Seeing lots of uh, emeralds, emerald jewelry, emeralds, the color uh, emeralds right there. All right, so this is uh, fighting through that fear. It doesn't matter what path you choose, who you decide to go out with, who you decide to leave. If you are in that particular situation, what are they going to think? Have you ever been in a situation or maybe you're in that right now, worried about the future? And this is not to scare or frighten every, uh, anyone. You're all in different areas, okay? But there is somebody out there that is trying to leave a particular situation because they know they're getting treated like trash, you know? And and then you get, well, if you, you get your advice from, you know, maybe friends, colleagues, and, and then you always get somebody uh, that comes on in that really doesn't know the complete situation, or maybe they do, and it's just like, honey, if you leave them, you're never going to make it in this life. They have, they're taking care of the finances, or they're doing this and that. You're going to have nothing if you leave them. Excuse you. <laughs> Please, honey, I'm a Leo. You just keep thinking that, you know. You're a Leo. You're tougher than that. Phoenix rising out of that, you know, the ashes there. They may try to put that fire out, but... And you're going to get people. And that's why we talk about not necessarily sharing your dreams out there to everyone all the time. Or maybe somebody uh, that you want to ask to marry or have a, a child with or ask out or, you know, leave or new business venture or, you know, going into your true authentic self. That's very scary for a lot of people because they are too afraid to do it themselves. So they're going to instill their fears upon you. So uh, when you tell them your plans and this and that, they're going to try to do everything they can to throw a monkey wrench into that. You already know that. So for your very last message, my dear Leos, all right, to leave you all off with, and thank you all so much for allowing me to come on here quickly. Very last message for December 2020. We have the shaman here. On the bottom here, it says trust in higher forces, all right? So uh, we have the owl here. I could go on for hours and hours and hours and hours about this stuff. All right. So thank you so much. And uh, it was very nice getting to meet a lot of you. And I will see you all uh, later. Bye.